Welcome to Math Thinker Studio. Ako muli si Teacher Rai na maghahatid ng panibagong aralin sa Mathematics 5. Sa lahat ng mga tagapanood at tagasubaybay sa ating mga video lesson, maraming maraming salamat, lalong lalo na ang ating mga subscribers. Ngayong huling linggo ng ating second quarter, ang ating tatalakayin ay defined and described a proportion or particular direct proportion. Proportion is a name given the statement that two ratios are equal. When two ratios are equal, then the cross product of the ratios are also equal. Proportion, it can be written in two ways. Una, two equal fractions. So, A over B is equal to C over D. B, using the colon form, A to B is equal to C to D. And there are two parts of proportion used to describe if the ratio is proportion. The means and the extreme. Ano nga ba tong means and extreme? Kung maalala nyo yung tinalakay ko nung nakaraan. Example, A to B is equal to C to D. Ang means natin ay yung letter B at yung letter C. Yung dalawang letra na nasa gitna. And then ang A and D, ito yung tinatawag nating extremes. Paano malalaman kung proportion nga ba ang ating ratio? Multiply the means and the extreme. If the product is equal, it means the given ratio is proportion. I-multiply lang natin yung dalawang means at saka yung dalawang extremes kung, kung ano ang lalabas na product nila at kung ito ay pareho, ibig sabihin, ang ating ratio ay proportion. So, uh, let us proceed to our lesson. Let us determine if the given ratio is proportion. So, aalamin natin kung proportion nga ba ang 4 to 6 and 24 to 36. Multiply the means and the extremes. So, ang means natin ay 6 and 24 at ang ating extremes ay 4 and 36. So, let us multiply the means 6 times 24 is equal to 144. Then, let us multiply the extremes 4 times 36 is equal to 144 ang kanilang product ay pareho. At ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ay proportion silang dalawa. Next, recognize when two quantities are in direct proportion. So, alamin natin kung ang dalawang quantities ay nasa direct proportion silang dalawa. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng direct proportion? As one amount increases or decreases, another amount also increases or decreases at the same rate. Ating pag-aralan ng example na to, Maggie uses 3 tablespoonful of baking powder to make 12 pancakes. To make 16 pancakes, she uses 4 tablespoonful of baking powder, and so on. Ilagay natin yan sa ating table number of tablespoon of baking powder and number of pancakes. So, sa tatlong tablespoonful, nakakagawa siya ng 12 na pancakes. Sa 16 na pancakes, nakakagamit siya ng 4 na tablespoonful of baking powder. So, kung, kung tingnan natin, ang 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or the number of tablespoon of baking powder nag increase ito. Okay? So, nag increase siya. So, kung tingnan naman natin number of pancakes, also increases. Kasi 12 plus 4 maging 16, plus 4 maging 20, plus 4 maging 24, and so on. So, yung number of tablespoon full of baking powder and number of pancakes, their amount is increases pareho silang nag increase At ang ibig sabihin nito, kung yung dalawang variable natin ay parehong nag increase it represents a direct proportion. Ito pa ang ating susunod na example. So, meron tayong variable na x and y. At uh, kung napapansin yung bilang ng x, 
meron tayong 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, yung number sa x ay decreases. Bumaba ba ito? Right? Dito naman sa variable y natin, meron tayong 25, 20, 15, 10, at 5. Ibig sabihin din yan, ito ay nag-decrease din. So, ang x and y natin ay parehong nag-decrease ang number nito. At isa lang ang ibig sabihin. Kung pareho silang decreases, ito ay direct proportion. So, in short, kung ang direct proportion, kung ang, pare, kung ang uh, dalawang quantities natin o dalawang variable natin ay uh, parehong nag-increase, ito ay direct proportion. Ganun din, kung pareho itong nag-decrease, ito ay direct proportion. At ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng indirect proportion? An inverse variation occurs if one of the variables increases or decreases and the other variables decreases or increases. So, napapansin nyo dito na una yung increases at magde-decrease yung isang variable. Dito naman, pag nag-decrease yung isa at nag-increase naman yung isa. So, alamin na. Example of indirect proportion. So, tingnan natin to. Ang table natin, meron tayong x and y. Yung x, meron dito 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, ang number na nasa x ay nag increase or nagdadagdag or nadadagdagan ng isa. Dito naman sa y, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Kung napapansin nyo, ito naman ay nababawasan ng 5. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung x nag increase yung y decrease. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung ang number ng x ay nag-increase at ang number sa y ay nag-decrease, it means or it represent an indirect proportion. Diyan na naman nagtatapos ang uh, ating talakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Ride. nag ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam! Thank you.